play ball. Is there anyone alive out there? Hey there, hot dogs. <laughs> sometimes there's just not enough asses in the seats, Kefis. And sometimes the fucking, the, the municipalities don't support their local product. We might, the governments. for once in Muscle Sport LLC history, we might be a wee bit controversial today. It's usually not our flavor. No, usually <laughs> you're very vanilla. <laughs> Uh, Go along to get along here at it. MSM. Yes. <laughs> Why can't we all just get along? Mm -hmm. But we're going to talk about, we're going to do it in all different sports, but we'll start with MLB. Teams that should not stay where they are for reasons we'll, we will state. And then we're going to say where we think they could thrive. I'm going to... Yeah. Play a pass to me. Pass this is, this, this this uh, grinds my gears a little bit. Grinds his gears And it's a not bit. so much their fans, it's the municipality, the town, the government, the doesn't deserve the, the city. The stadium, too, is... Well, they don't deserve the team. It's the Oakland Athletics. Whoa! The they swing do, and A's! The, Oakland, the, the, the city of Oakland does not deserve that team. The Oakland A's have even offered to buy that dump of a stadium... Coliseum. And make it ba baseball only once the Raiders leave. And the city's balking on that. The city's balking it. on getting them a new Do site. A Yankee Stadium the 76 type the of thing. The city's balking on everything. So if I was the A's, I'd say, you know what? Fuck you. And make your way down south a little bit. Down into the... Do uh, a Walter O'Malley kind Silicon of thing. Silicon Valley. Stay, you know, that's your fan base. Is that Northern California, east of the Bay... You know, stay in that general vicinity there. If you got to go down a little bit, go to San Jose. You know, dare I say, Sausalito, <laughs> Sacramento. Um, how you far know, is Sac I mean, I don't know how Sac good they Tomatoes, are. They're a little bit further, um, but just in the general vicinity of that area, maybe fifty miles south. So you stay know, in Northern California, in the Silicon Valley area. You can have, you know, have Google, Google money, or have yeah. fucking Microsoft <laughs> or one of those jerk off company. I mean, Apple or one of those assholes build your fucking stadium. <laughs> Call and it, call yeah. it, you know, uh, Tech Geek. iPhone Park. <laughs> yeah, Tech Geek Park or whatever it is. But get it out of fucking Oakland. Oakland doesn't deserve it, and it's not the fans. The fans will go. They'll travel 50 miles to go to a game, you know, 75 miles if it's in a, you know, it's in a new park. The team has been playing extra, extra well, considering the money that's put into them. Yeah. It's the city of Oakland doesn't fucking deserve them. They don't. You know, the, 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 the government never backs them up. You know, they, they certainly don't, don't maintain the area over there. It's crime-ridden. I, I think Oakland deserves to lose this team. I won't argue with you on that. Um, the only reason why I'm a little little surprised is because the history that they've had there. I mean, the, the A's franchise is one of the longest-running franchises in MLB history. But it's got a history of moving. Well, From yeah. From Philly to KC Kansas City to, to Oakland. Oakland. Yeah, it's been... Uh, I'll use a term that I said in the last episode we recorded, vagabond, talking about the uh, the Arizona Cardinals. Um, but yes, the A's have moved many times. But in Oakland, you had a great dynasty, obviously, in the 70s with Reggie and Catfish and all of those guys, Sal Bando and all of them. And Gene then, Tennis. Gene Tennis, yes. Miami. Fucking Bert Campanaris. I mean, yeah, Joe Rudy. I mean, that, Catfish that's... Catfish Hunter. Catfish Hunter. We can go on and on for days. And then Billy Ball. And then the Bash Brothers. So the Oakland A's, as an Oakland team, have had a great history way fucking later than the Philly and KC. They were there for a fucking, you know, a couple of years only. Um, so I, I think only because they've been... So beloved, like you said, the fans, they've had a great history. Um, obviously, we know they're in a new stadium. They've been talking about possibly moving them to Vegas. Now, the Raiders are moving to Vegas, I think, which is an atrocious fucking idea. Topic for another day. Um, so, the Oakland A's, I know they had to play some games in like a minor league park or something because there was damage to the Alameda Coliseum and the construction wasn't done in time for opening day. It's just... In the last 10 years, that's been... It's, it, it's been a disaster. It's a dump that needs to be replaced. It's the last the team deserves it, stadium. And the fans deserve it. And, yeah, they do. you know, the city's not responding, so they should up and leave. I'm not saying leave the area. I'm not saying go to Vegas. I'm not saying go anywhere. That's not accessible to the basic fan base. But let's just, let's be honest. Oakland is not a very desirable city. 
It's impoverished. Shithole. You know, for all the money in the industry and the, uh, the, 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 literally the power, the political power that's based in Silicon Valley now, none of it trickles to... They, they're, they're all progressive and they're all for... The, the working man, the working poor, and all that, but they never, <laughs> somehow their money doesn't make its fucking way to Oakland, uh, California. So I would move that team out of Oakland, move it down to Silicon Valley or in that general vicinity, and, you know, give the team what it deserves. They're a winning team, and they have been for a long time. A very overachieving team. Oh. They... You know, Amazing. they deserve their own stadium and they deserve to, to to be able to make money like the other teams make money so they don't keep relying on the luxury tax to support their team. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to go. I mean, um, is there a landing spot within fan reach where you don't want to, I mean... <clears throat> San Jose is not too far away. No, and they've been supportive of the Sharks and stuff like that, so... Um, uh, it'll be interesting to see um, what happens there because we know that the the Raiders moved because of the stadium issue, and uh, so it's it's just I guess it's it's natural to talk about the the A's eventually needing to move. But my team to move is going to be in the senior circuit. I I, I was going to say Tampa for obvious reasons, but I'm actually going to say Tampa's getting a new stadium and let's let them see what happens. Yeah, that's true. But there is a team in Florida that got a new stadium that I think is worse than their old stadium. And I was at the old stadium for many football games. Um, it's and, still there. And for the fucking uh, for the Marlins, I was there. And for their baseball. old stadium is still there. It's still there. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's it's they, all the Dolphins still playing it. It's still and it's it, they refurbished <laughs> it. It's called Hard Rock Stadium now. It's yeah, it's changed names so many times. I got a roof. Yeah, you forget that it's the same stadium. Um, but I think the Marlins, it's the, the proof positive that every time they fucking have t you know even after World Championships the fire sales, they cannot sustain a roster that is fucking uh, competitive enough. They get lucky. And they take a few chances, and they bring in some players, and they luckily won. Hey, listen, I, you, you win two World Series, you got it's more than luck, it's mm -hmm. talent. But it was obvious that they broke up those teams immediately after winning those championships. The following year. The following, it's it, boom. They so sold, now They sold high. Yeah, so they bring in Derek Jeter. He's stripping the whole thing down. They're trading away, and they, like, you know, Giancarlo went to the Yanks. They got rid of that sculpture in uh, left center. That massive sculpture when they hit the home run, it looked like they something. got rid of the pinball machine thing. They put it in, uh, in you know, outside the stadium. Oh, so maybe I won't say because that was one of my pet peeves. Yeah, it, the stadium's a joke. It, yeah. It's ridiculous looking for a fucking new ballpark. You could have won so. I mean, I know you want it to be like a local kind of thing. But you got to still stick with the history of the game, even if you don't have... A, the, to me, Florida is a spring training town. There's too many transplants that want to go down there to watch their team, like Met Yankee fans, like Dodger fans when they had Dodger Town over there. And the Dodgers... It's still, like, it boggles my mind that they're training in Arizona now. They left... Um, uh, Vero you know, Beach. Vero Beach, because that was the Brooklyn Dodgers. I mean, I mean, it's been a long time coming. They probably should move to Arizona for obvious reasons, closer to home. But um, t fans love to come down and watch spring training. They're not supporting professional baseball down there. And the teams And the argument weak. that everybody has a boat and everybody's out boating on the weekends is... I. Like, not everybody so has a boat. <laughs> not everybody has a boat in Florida. Yeah. I know people that live in Florida and don't have boats. It's the fact that you said the transplants, number one. And you're going to get behind something that they're going to rip up. Look, they got behind the Miami uh, Hurricane football team. That's a big thing down there. That's, That's been going on huge, yeah. That's been going on forever. They got behind the Heat. Dolphins. They got behind the Dolphins. The so heat. when you have a, a consistent product... People will come. People will come. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And they're going to spend you know? money and buy the T-shirts and all of that. The Florida Panthers have a decent crowd. Yeah. I mean, and that's a team that's... They've made one cup final in right. their history. They never won the cup. Um, 
uh, you know, the Heat obviously have, uh, you know, they've, they've won a few championships, even the, before the LeBron with Wade, and Shaq was on that team too when they won. Um, so uh, the fans will support a winning team and stay with them while they're growing. But like you said, it's very hard for a team to, uh, for a fan to keep buying season tickets. And then as soon as they, they bought the shirt of the favorite player, he's, he's, fucking, on, the next he's year. on the Red Sox or the Yankees the yeah. next year. Or the Brewers. <laughs> yeah, the Brewers, yeah. Again, Brewers are about to get an MVP in Christian Yelich. Yeah, he yeah. Was, you know, he was on the Marlins in, yeah. in May. He had fucking what a playoff he had. Yeah, yeah. he was amazing. Um, a little he in the in the CS though he kind of he was better in the earlier uh, yeah. the, the rounds, um, but uh, Keith actually we were before we started rolling the the, the camera, but where did the Marlins move? And Keith, I'm not going to take credit for it. He said somewhere in the Carolinas. So I, I again transplants, but differently because you don't have the professional teams there as much. Yes, you do have the Panthers. Yes, you do have the Hurricanes. But I think South Carolina, where I'm looking to move to get the fuck out of fucking liberal New York, get to a red state, they support the Gamecocks. That's a big fucking, you know, big draw down there. Um, so when you get there, they're going to support the little cocks. They're going to, yes. <laughs> Anyone that supports a cock is a fucking friend of mine. But I think a team in... Everybody lumps the Carolinas, but... The teams that play there, like even the college basketballs, they're all, it's in North Carolina, right? Yeah. So I think if you move a team to South Carolina, like a professional baseball team, I think people will go and support that team. You know what it is? You'd have to probably get an agreement from the Braves. See, the Giants and Oakland having the same area, the Giants would love Oakland to move south towards San Jose mm -hmm. because they're getting away from them. Them. Uh, you know, they're literally a stone's throw away from each other now yeah. across the bay. Yeah. Um, you're moving now from Miami, and you're going to be moving up into Atlanta Braves territory. Which is South Carolina. South Carolina, borderline Georgia, North Carolina. You go to North Carolina, now you start to hit the Nationals territory. So an agreement would have to be made. But, I mean, what really, what, uh, what are the Braves going to do? Put up a stink? No, you know, they're on their third stadium in, in 30 years. Yeah, yeah. You know, they get exactly what they thing. want at all times. Yeah, very strange how they, 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 yeah, stadium hopping like crazy. I still like Fulton County. The, the launching pad. The launching pad. But the, I think the Marlins, um, I never thought it was a good idea to bring them there, and I thought it was even a more bizarre idea to bring a second team to Florida when Tampa came in a few years later. Um, I, it's not a good supportive year round support a team based down there for the fans and even after world series like we said they broke the team up so any fans that they may have garnered through those championships just said i'm not going to start watching these fucking scrubs all it, over it's again it's funny because the minnesota twin fans the cleveland indian fan the seattle mariner texas ranger fan they would die for two world series yeah Die for them. Yeah, yeah. Teams that have fucking, you know, you know this, you know, starving for championships. Let me tell you something. If Cleveland wins or if Seattle would, they're not going to break up that team. They're going to try to hold on to that team because yes. that team's going to be the, you know, that's that's going to be the, 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 you know, what 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 they hang their hat on from years to come. What the teams love. I mean, if you want to talk about uh, fans that don't give up on teams. Uh, the aforementioned Brooklyn Dodgers. Wait till next year was their rallying cry. They lost to the fucking Yankees every year, except for the fucking one amazing fucking season, the 1955 Game 7. They won like, at Yankee Stadium. They beat the fucking hated Crosstown Yankees. And um, so teams will, fans will support teams even if they don't win championships, just if they are consistent and try to win games. You, you're showing your fans, like even I'll give the Devil Rays, now Rays credit, they built teams from their farm system and had really good players, but they couldn't afford to keep those players. Right. So they had to trade those guys. They had to let them go by a free agency. Guys like David Price and stuff like that. The Marlins, it seems like they bring up players, they bring in a bunch of players. They win. Then they break them all up. And they, they get rid know. of them all. Vets and fucking young guys alike. In one fell swoop, it's like, wait, you just brought these guys in to win. You did win. 
and now you're breaking it up. So fucking Blue Horseshoe loves Anacott Steel. It sounds like fucking uh, a corporate raid from Wall Street. It's true. They fucking come in, they buy low, they bring all this in, they, they buy a little piece of it. Next though, they're fucking breaking up Blue Star Airlines and Bud Fox's dad's out of fucking a job. <laughs> but what's good is that, you know, you say, wow, they're committing to winning. They're, they're, they're bringing in veterans at the deadline and stuff when they won those. Like they brought in, what's his face? Who was the guy they brought in? Uh, well, they brought in. They they had gotten Al Leiter. They had gotten Bobby Bonilla. They traded for in yes. '97. Who was the uh, the guy we were talking about this morning in the gym? Uh, the fucking oh no, he went there. He was the uh, he was one of the young guys, the third baseman, the Miguel Brown. Cabrera. Cabrera, yeah, he, Biggie, was, he, yeah, was, he was, yeah. was with them. He was I'm, with them. I'm thinking Detroit got him uh, uh, as a bat, but Mike Lowell. Yes, Mike Lowell. Didn't he have ball cancer? No, that was Mike Bla No, Mike Lowell, not Mike Blowers, had ball cancer. Mike Lowell. He yes. was a Yankee, and he got traded yes. to... Uh, to the Marlins. To the Marlins. Yeah, yeah. I liked him as a Yankee, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, one ball McGee, they call him now. Yeah. But, uh, so that's what I think pisses me off, and what is the difference between Tampa and Flor and Miami, they call them now, is um, that they they did bring in players. They didn't just rely on their farm system and then... You know, I can't afford to keep you, so you're gonna, you know, we're gonna wish you the best and let you move on. See you later, yeah. Yeah, they brought guys in to win, and then they just fucking fire sale them all, like the crime dog and stuff like that. They brought him in and gone right away right. after the championship. So to me, South Carolina would be an interesting place. Um, there's never been a professional baseball team there. Nope. Um, you know, you can you can talk about other cities that have had teams and lost them. I hate giving teams a second, a cities a second chance. If you didn't support the team the first time around, right? You know, I mean, like you get a lot of cities. well. Washington was uh, you, you, they they were able to get a second chance. They were done third the chance. Yeah, Senators were twice. Right. They moved the Senators and then had an expansion team. The Senators. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Well, the problem with was was the second guy that moved the the was was a, a major racist, and he moved the team up to Minnesota because he said he heard that there's no black people in Minnesota, so that's why he moved uh, the team up to the Twins. That's how that went down. Oh, uh, Clark Griffin was it the Griffin family? I still? think so. Yeah, he was they like were a, original Griffin he Stadium. Was, he was 20s. like a big time racist, and he moved to Minnesota basically to get away from black people. That's what he did. It said. work. Uh, probably not, because you got, you got Prince, you got <laughs> Dave Winfield, you got all those guys, shoved it right up his ass and won, you know, and like Dave Winfield is now, you know, played on his team and won championships. He, yes, he did, he did. Play so right game. up the racist guy's ass with that one, so. <laughs> but interesting topic, we're going to do this for the other three major team sports, NBA, NHL, and fuck the NFL as well. So Keith, anything else you got? Or, uh, you just, no, I got a lot of things. Go, but, uh, go San Jose A's. Yeah, you, exactly. Right? I listen. <laughs> it's, it's, you gotta move, man. Gotta get out of that town. Gotta get out of there. The South Carolina Marlins. Obviously, they would change the name because yeah. it wouldn't fit. But I'm hoping when I relocate myself to South Carolina, there is a Major League Baseball team there because I will support South them. Carolina Parrotheads. The South Carolina Parrotheads. Yes. Jimmy Buffett, I don't like his politics, but I like his resorts. So Just like Mark Fins, baby. <laughs> you didn't like his hands, but you liked his gambling. Yes. <laughs> Mark Griffin Resorts. <laughs> we are out of here. See you next time on the shitload of sports.